Right now at 11 this weekend, Hillary Clinton is expected to announce her run for the White House. Florida Senator Marco Rubio is expected to make his campaign official on Monday, and former Florida Governor Jeb Bush could soon be next. CBS 4's Kerry Ka joins us live from the site of Rubio's announcement. That'll be Miami's Freedom Tower to talk presidential politics, and it is heating up, Kerry. That's right, Cindy, the Freedom Tower, as you mentioned, will provide the backdrop for Senator Rubio's announcement on Monday. It is expected that he will announce that he is running for president. In fact, his press team released this video, this five-minute video on YouTube tonight in anticipation of the senator's announcement. But before Monday, as you mentioned, Senator or former Senator Clinton is expected to announce her candidacy on Sunday. I've been raised in a community of exiles. Judging by the YouTube video released Friday by Florida Senator Marco Rubio, it appears Rubio will be announcing his candidacy for president at the Freedom Tower on Monday. And to make sure that America is still a place where tomorrow is always better than yesterday, that is what our politics should be about. Using big campaign rhetoric like a new American century, Rubio seems to be positioning himself as a presidential contender. That will likely come as a jolt to the expected campaign of his longtime friend and mentor, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. But now both men could be rivals for the Republican presidential nomination. Well, it represents the final nail in the coffin between his relationship with Jeb Bush. Bush, however, would be the favorite of the Republican establishment. And the one advantage that Bush has over Rubio is long-standing, long-standing connections and long-standing relationships with donors. But the Republican side is wide open. In addition to Rubio and Bush, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul announced his candidacy. Texas Senator Ted Cruz announced that he is running for president, and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker is also expected to run. Thank you. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton is expected to announce her candidacy through social media on Sunday and kick off a tour of early primary states. Analysts expect Hillary to lean heavily on her husband. This is her time um, to the Clintons. This is destiny. This is what they've waited eight years for. Even though she's not expected to have much primary opposition, Clinton does have problems, like the email scandal that she conducted sensitive government business as Secretary of State on her personal smartphone, and that those emails might have been lost or erased. As for Rubio, if he does indeed enter the race here on Monday, analysts immediately expect him to vault into the upper echelon of Republican contenders alongside Jeb Bush and Scott Walker. And there are reports tonight in a strange twist that Marco Rubio and Jeb Bush actually sat next to each other on a flight from Nashville to Miami. They were coming back from an event in Tennessee. One wonders if the main topic of conversation was the Republican presidential primary. Live in Miami, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. And look for live coverage of Marco Rubio's big announcement on Monday right here on CBS 4 News. We will bring you his comments live on air and online when it happens. How much would you have paid to have the seat right behind the two of them to be able to <laughs> eavesdrop a little bit on their conversation? I don't mind eavesdropping. <laughs> All right, coming up next, a political